Thank you so very much, Scott. So um, this is actually my seventh Sabre, and it's always wonderful to be here in Phoenix for a great week of analytics as well as spring training. When Scott and I start talking about last fall, the coming together of Microsoft and Simi to support the diamond, case dollar, diamond dollars case competitions, we realize, as Brian said, that all of you out there, you are the future. And given the fact where we are in this industry and the things that are going forward and the advances that are being made, what I wanted to do, and, Brian, and Scott said to me, Michael, this is not to be a sales presentation. And it's not going to be a sales presentation. But what I want to do is show you some of the avenues and career paths and the opportunities that those of you who have come here today from this different universities as to some of the things that are happening in the areas of Major League Baseball analytics and how teams are using these technologies. Now this is just going to be one specific sample having to do with player performance and biomechanics and analytics, but there are many different areas of the front office, as Brian said. So let me just go through and show you exactly how SIMI uses analytics and some areas of career paths that may be interesting to those of you who are here today from the different universities. So in the next six minutes, and please, it's only going to be six minutes, it's kind of like who we are, what we do, and how AI can be used to decipher and apply biomechanics to player performance. So, Simi, we actually have 11 Major League Baseball teams as clients. And what we do is we come into the Major League Baseball stadiums and we go all around the stadium and we do a site survey. And we look at the best angles looking at the pitcher's mound and the best angles looking at the batter's box. And we say, where could we put these cameras so we can get in-game motion and biomechanics analytics for player performance, for issues having to do with um, anatomical and physiological movement? Could it be possible for injury, injury prevention? Different ways that we are working with the different teams. We all have 206 bones in our body, and we all have approximately three to 350 joint centers in our body. So what we are able to do with our technology is to look at the different types of bones, joints, angles, and see, in fact, during the game, how, in fact, these technologies can, in fact, track issues such as arm slot, ball release, hip rotation, stride length, knee lift. That's what we do from an analytical standpoint. This is what our screen looks like. And clearly there are the different views that you are seeing from the eight different cameras. And on the left you have those different 30 types of analytical points that you can in fact look and choose based upon how you want to look at and understand what is happening. We do the same thing obviously for batting also for swing plane, that standpoint. So let's get off of what we do and how we have raw data and working with Microsoft, because once again, Simi and Microsoft, we are incredibly proud to be working with Sabre in this area. How in fact baseball specific AI and machine learning scenarios can in fact be used strategically as well as tactically. So for example, how many? Let's look at a regression analysis. Over nine innings, inning by inning, what is the trend for pitcher X to deviate from best practices points of release? We know and understand that different pitchers have different types of deliveries. There's the difference between the wind up and the stretch, the people on base. Is it a left hander, is it a right hander? We can now cluster these from a regression standpoint. Classification. In what late inning situations will relievers throw a fastball slider curve or a changeup? Right? As Tommy Lasorda said to Greg Gibson, uh, to, uh, to uh, Kirk Gibson, watch the accuracy slider, and we know what happened there. So we have the ability to take this information and basically look at this from that standpoint as to what the pitches are being thrown. Clustering. As a group, 
In what inning does our starting rotation begin to show signs of shorter stride length, less fastball velocity, hanging the breaking pitches, and slower hip rotation? And finally, is it weird? How does pitcher X change his delivery when there are runners on base? So these are some of the things that we do, and teaming with Microsoft using their Azure Cloud, we are able to develop these analytics. In summary, you always start off with numbers. That's the raw part. Numbers leads to data, data leads to information, and information leads to knowledge. And then Brian said to all of you who are involved in the Diamond Dollars competitions, welcome. We appreciate and we respect and honor the work we, you are doing because you are the next future of where this sport, where this technology, and where these particular applications are going. Thank you very much.